All right, we made it down here again. Uh, sorry about my hand, but the wind is just blowing like crazy down here. It looks pretty good. Uh, the beach looks pretty good. Uh, who knows if we're going to find something. I'm standing like this because of the wind. Uh, so on the drive down here, I picked up Alex and uh, I saw a phone in the street. And I go, Alex, there's a phone in the street. So he hopped out and grabbed it. He starts trying to call the guy and stuff. And I'm like, cool, we can return it probably right away. And then uh, I go, hey, if there's a reward, we should split it. Well, <laughs> he didn't think so. He's, he thought he got that phone. So he's going to keep it for himself. So I just told him, you know what, Alex? Go ahead and keep it. If there's a reward, keep it. I don't care. Uh, so he's up there returning it right now. So if he does get a reward, he probably won't even tell me. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. But I think that's like part of the the whole autistic thing. Very greedy. It's like that with everything. With everything. He tries though. So I'll give him that. He tries to be a do the right things and stuff, but sometimes not so much. Like if it was me, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I saw it on the ground. You picked it up. If there's a reward, we'll split it. <laughs> that's how I would be. But that's the difference between us. There, probably, there shouldn't even be a reward. You should just return it to the guy. The guy should be happy. He got it back. And that's the end of the story. He has to make a big production out of it. We're down here looking for stuff all the time. So it's not like a new thing or anything. Anyways, let's see if we can find anything today. Hopefully we do. I need to, I'm really regretting selling that gold ring I found. Because it had uh, aquamarine and diamonds also on it. I didn't mention that. Uh, it was a big aquamarine heart shape. Anyways, that was last hunt. That's this is this one. For now on, somebody mentioned, Robert, just don't show anybody your finds on the beach. And you know what? I, I didn't. Even, you know that's a really good idea. I should, probably shouldn't show anybody my finds. Uh, they could pull out a gun and rob me. Who knows? You know. <laughs> But for now on, I'm not showing people what I find, unless it's junk. All right, I'll see you guys. Um, hopefully we get a something decent today. I don't even care what it is. All right, I gridded a whole area here. No signals whatsoever, so I'm not sure what to do. I could either travel that way or travel this way. Which Alex came back down. He didn't even come over to me or anything. So it makes me wonder what he must. He must have got a reward. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Or go up to the dry. Maybe we'll go up to the dry. We'll go in the water first. Time to get wet. All right, I came up with a plan. So Alex is on a cut down there, and I see another cut right down here. So I'm going to go on that one. Let him have that cut. And I'll do this one down here. If he comes over, then I'll go back and do his cut that he's on. It's only fair, right? <clears throat> I hate it when it's windy. I really got to work that out. Uh, I was listening to my video and I did not like it. So I can imagine you guys probably didn't like that either. A lot of the times I couldn't even understand what I was saying because of the wind.
So I'll tell, I'll turn it on if I find anything at this cut. We're almost there. All right. Well, I'll tell you what I I started cutting down on the cut, like doing a small section. I went all the way down on the cut on the first run. And now I'm coming down so I can at least do the whole, all the layers before he gets here. He's on his way. And I got a signal. 13, so it's probably a nickel. Hopefully better, but. Yeah, it's slow with it. Still a 13. <laughs> Nothing's changed. A lot of sand crabs. And I don't see a ring, but I do see a nickel. Alright. Oh, sorry, I didn't even point you guys into digging area. <laughs> We got a nickel, so that's a good start. Actually, a lot of walking for that nickel. Uh, not very good, but the fact that there's a nickel means there could be something else. So hopefully, we'll find something today. As soon as Alex gets here, I'm gonna go back to his cut and work that. Well, since I'm not getting any other targets, I got this uh, iron target. I started digging it now it sounds like a target <laughs> kind of sounds like a target to me it was just grunting when I found it so we need to open the hole up I think I found it. Whoa. <laughs> well, I thought that was a chain. I don't know what that is. sure that was the signal though. Let's check the... Yeah, that was it. Let's keep going. Alright, update. We did all this. Gritted out, kind of. I just quit on this last part there, at the top part. I did the very top, the two lines. And then all down this way. Uh, nothing except that nickel and a piece of metal. So I'm trying up here to dry a little bit. And so far there's nothing up here either. So uh, we saw when we first got down here, there's a couple of guys over there in the volleyball courts uh, with their detectors. They didn't look too happy. <laughs> but let's keep going. Maybe we'll get something. Who knows? All right, I got a choppy hydro. It's a... Like that. Kind of sounds better. Oh. I think the reason it was choppy is because it's a penny and a nickel fresh either there's a little bit of green on them they've been down there for at least a couple days it's a good sign anything else nope that's it all right we're on a roll let's keep it going <laughs> this is really strange of alex to just be in one area right there and he's really working it so I'm thinking he must have found something. Uh, or he's feeling guilty. <laughs> he probably got a reward for that phone. I really I don't, don't care. care. I mean, I did find the phone. But when we run into him, I'll, turn the, I'll try to turn the camera on. And I won't say anything about the phone return. 
just to see his reaction to what it is. And uh, if it does come up, I'll say, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. It was good. Uh, uh, I'll tell you if I think about it. But I'm going to turn the phone, the camera back on when I first see him. We'll see how he reacts. I remember what I was going to say. I'm hoping that he gets wore out. And we'll go back to the beach where I did find two rings. Uh, have a better chance down there anyways. He doesn't like that beach, so we can't go there. He's talking to some people right now. Pointing my direction. I think they have a metal detector too. Turn you guys back on. If we get anything, you know the routine. Well, I usually don't do this, but I'm just calling it. I'm not going to detect anymore. I did way down there, did all out here in the water, dry sand, all this. So Alex is doing that down there. He's really gridding a good job. It's the weirdest thing that he wanted to come over here though. <laughs> now I'm complaining because he's not following me. <laughs> Actually, I'm just kind of curious. But I'll still turn the camera on if he comes over here. But I, for now, I'm just going to park it. I don't usually do this, but it's that bad down here. And hopefully when he comes over here, say, Robert, just take me home. And I'll take him home and we'll come back, we'll come back to a better beach. And we'll find something. A beach he doesn't want to go to, so... Yeah. It's becoming a problem. We'll have to deal with it somehow. We'll see. <laughs> ah, we're out in the water. <laughs> oh, so wavy out here. The wind is blowing. Uh, at least I'm not going to hit my head on any rocks today. <laughs> Different beach. I think we got to worry about hair sharks. Here comes the plane. I'm the only one out here. bad at all. See how it looks still going at it over there. This is so weird. I'll try to read the sign then I'll turn the camera off. So we probably can't read it. Uh, here comes some little waves. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's kind of fun. This is what it looks like under the wave.
hard to body surf like that. That was a... Uh, I had my wrong one in front of me. <laughs> Don't hold the camera out there. Alright. Hopefully Alex will come back over once I start drying off. We'll go take him home, we'll come back down, we'll find something good. Oh, another good body surfing wave, dang it. Turn you guys off. There's my detector on shore. Uh oh, way up behind me. Can't turn your back on the ocean. I feel like coming back out here and actually trying to catch some of these waves. There's not too many big enough to body surf, but there's a couple. Oh, Alright. See you in the next clip. Hopefully, we'll be on a different beach. I'll catch Alex. See what he says. I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> Even though I'm not going to say anything. All right. See you guys on the beach. All right. I worked my way down. Actually, past where Alex was to give him his space, uh, so I wouldn't get in his way. I think he found a ring or something. And I got a one right here. Just a slight sound. tell if it's anything now. Yeah, it's just a one. First piece of jewelry it says 21. Uh, it looks nice actually. But it's not gold. Hey, at least we found something finally. Let's keep going. Maybe we'll get something else. Alright. That's a good sign. Right, he finally waved to me. So I think he might be done. Might be a chance to make our move here to another beach. This beach is not really doing too good. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can't find something. But I totally understand that. Oh yeah, he's walking back. Yeah. Why? I wonder what what is going on with him. It's really weird right now. But I'll still turn the camera on when I first see him. This is so weird. He just picked up his stuff and started walking that way. Usually he's like all over me. So he did get a reward, I think. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You can read him like a book. Even if he didn't, then he's upset or something. I don't know what's wrong with him. Kind of weird. But <laughs> Hopefully we're going home, we can take him home now. And then we'll go to come back down to Better Beach and do a real hunt. Alright, we got a weird sound here. Almost sounds like a, how a magnet or a necklace would sound. I don't want to get too close to it.
was weird. It's weird that it'd be beeping like that now. It just, it just sounds like iron. Oh, because we already got it. We got it out of the hole already. Catch it. There's something in there, Clunkin. Uh, it's another piece of jewelry. I don't think it's gold, but it's gold colored. It's a butterfly. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh yeah, he's going up to the car. This is so weird. I've never seen him act like this. Oh wait, is there something else? I thought I saw something else. Anyways. Let's go. I got another sound. <laughs> Crazy. He's away from me. All that time, I just wasn't in the right spot. Uh, that was just a nickel. It doesn't even sound that great. That's crazy. Anyway, this is right where Alex found something. I think he found like a ring or something right here. That's the one he wants to leave. He probably got gold. Uh, as soon as he gets something, he usually wants to leave. Great, this trip turned into a nightmare. Now he's at the bar. Uh, I don't feel like waiting for him. I wanted to get him home so I could get back down here. <laughs> Finish my night. Alright. Let's see what happens. Oops. I, 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 got, I got one of my drinks for $16. I got a guarantee. by yourself this time. Find anything? I mean, a couple of earrings. Right? We found two earrings. That whole ways. Uh, it's hard to make a YouTube channel. We can't find anything. Right? No, I'm going to do okay. I had, I had to use yesterday's video. All right. We got rid of Alex, and we ended up at another feature, and he never did say anything about what happened to that phone. He probably took full credit for finding it and everything. I found it. <laughs> Not a big deal, but it just shows how he is. And then, remember I said he was sitting at the bar? He had ordered me a vodka. And I'm like, no, no thanks. Because I'm driving, you know. So, he, the bartender just gave it to him. And uh, by the time I got home, he was kind of drunk. Uh, kind of weird. Anyways, I'm going to watch his video and see what happened. 
Hopefully, it he'll probably show it. So we'll see. All right, here's our first sound. I try to stand with the wind at my back. So we didn't get a sound that quick on the other beach. Of course, this does not sound like anything good. Ugh. All right, let's see what it is. Maybe I just missed it all together. See what the number is. Well, it's an 11. 11 is usually good. Penny. Zinc penny. Huh. But you know what? It's a target. Let's go. I got my light so this the sun is going down, so we gotta kinda I don't wanna rush it because I like doing this beach slow. So let's go. Alright, it's like a normal hunt. Here's another sound. 25. A dime sound kinda. Now it's high 36. <laughs> Who knows what this one's gonna be? Uh, back to a dime sound. And it is a dime. We got a dime. Alright. I think that's more money than we found on the other beach so far. <laughs> and I still haven't been here for five minutes. All right, now we got a gold sound. Eight. Sounds just like that other ring sounded. Doesn't mean it's gold. It just could be. Should sound better than that. Something small. It's definitely something small. There it is. Just a little piece of copper or something. Keep going. Well, here's a 14. Those, that's usually pull tabs. But ha I have a funny feeling this isn't. It doesn't seem like the place for a pull tab. And it was shallow. Maybe it was a pull tab. Just because it was shallow. in my hand. I don't even see anything. How oh, weird. What the heck? Okay, maybe it wasn't in my hand. <laughs> Should be now. Alright. I knew it was a pull tab. It's a washer. Dang it. I was hoping for a ring though. Let's keep going. Uh, I've gotten other sounds too. I picked up another dime. Uh, so I'm not going to show every dig because we're getting a long video here. I might even cut out 
that first part of the video, the whole Alex drama is really not that much fun to watch, but you guys need to know in case he disappears, <laughs> why, why he disappeared. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Alright, I've been working my way down the beach this way, and I stopped getting signal, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue down at the other end and go that way. And i got to get my light out, obviously, it's getting dark. I don't know for sure yet, but I think I spotted a ring. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything, what happened? I see it. That's weird. <laughs> Is that a ring? Oh, yeah. gold though. Let's see what it rings up as. How's it? How did I get that? How did that even ring it up? How did it ring up one second and then... <laughs> That's weird. Anyways, we got... It. Magically got that one because it doesn't ring up. <laughs> Hopefully it's gold. <laughs> Probably just not even a half gram if it is. So little. Uh, let's keep going. All right, got a ring. Listen to this one. That's a little ring. Ring of 31. You know, I picked it up and I was thinking, because it was ringing like that, I was thinking it's silver. And I go, this is a tiny ring. It weighs so much that I'm thinking we just got a platinum ring if, if I'm wrong it would be sad but I think I got platinum because it's not uh, doesn't look like what silver looks like kind of looks like what platinum would look like I'm trying to see if there's a name in there or anything I would say it. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see numbers. I see numbers. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. I can't see what it says. Oh, but it looks like it says... I don't know. It just looks like it says 925. That feels way heavier than silver. Oh. Jeez, could be platinum and silver. I don't know. We got a ring though. <laughs> I'm not giving up. Let's keep going. All right, I got 30% battery left. Little gold sound. Eight, nine. Just a small sound, huh? But those always can turn bigger. This is zinc penny. Why did they do that? This beach, I've dug so many zinc pennies, almost like somebody uh, salted it. <laughs> but they're all over the place, so I don't think so. I just like accusing people. All right, I tried to dig it live gold, but it didn't work out. So I'll just keep digging them and then show you what I find. All right, I found a bracelet. Oh, that's awesome! It's trash, though. It's like a, oh. Okay, Rusty. No, I have to save it for my video. Oh. Got one of these earrings. Keep going. Alrighty. We're ready for another wrap up. Um, 
What a day, a kind of weird day. Um, started off, I spotted a phone in the street. Oh, I see a big caterpillar. <laughs> I got sidetracked. And so we were at a stoplight. So I said, oh, go get it. He's like, I'm going to go get it. And I'm like, go get it. And so he went and grabbed it. And, well, then the whole thing came about with, uh, I brought up, well, if there's a reward, we should split it because I found it. You picked it up. Um, cause I would have pulled over and picked it up anyways, if he wasn't there. So, and then he went on to do this whole thing, his video of how he found it and all this. Uh, I don't know. Here, let's show the caterpillar. Not a big deal. I don't really care. He's eating right now. See the leaf? But I think it's time to take a break from Alex because, well, he didn't want to go to the beach where I found all this stuff. I found a nickel where we were at. And he's like limiting my hunts. So what I came up with is maybe we shouldn't take Alex as much. Maybe once a week. Because he's starting, well, he's been doing this for a long time. He wants to go with me every time. And then he says, oh, I'll give you $20 for gas. I don't care about the $20 for gas. I mean, sometimes it helps. Other times, well, it always helps. Um, but I think I'd be do better if he just wasn't there. I could concentrate on my hunt more and stop worrying about him coming over, over to my area and stuff and... Uh, yeah, and then I do think he, I'm going to watch his video, I haven't watched it yet, but I do think he got a reward for that. Uh, I'll be able to tell from watching his video. Anyways, enough about that nonsense. My point is, I just think it's time to like cut, cut back on him, because winter's coming, it's going to be harder to get gold. And I don't need a extra distractions on the beach. I have a friend named Jordan. We used to hunt together all the time. Then we realized, you know what? It's better that we hunt. A, he go to one beach, I go to another beach. And now that's all we do. We still talk. We're still friends. I never see him anymore. But uh, um, we give each other information and stuff, you know, on the beaches. And that works. Um, no hard feelings, you know, we just know it's better to hunt the beach by yourself. So when I, when I hunt the beach, like say this is the beach, the square here, I like to go, mm, 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 mm. now if I get Alex in here going mm, all in front of me, all over the place, I don't really like that. I mean, it cuts my chances in half and it's just, then it kind of gets in my mind, you know. Um, yeah, so you, you get the idea. <laughs> Let's get on with the wrap-up. We got four nickels. Looks like five dimes. One quarter, which I'm really surprised. Got 19 pennies, so looks like almost all of them are zinc. I think all of them are probably I think there might be one or two uh, all the bits and pieces this is why Alex doesn't like hunting this beach I mean when you're finding like little just slivers of stuff like <laughs> I can't even pick it up it's so small like that piece there see it and this little piece this is just these little pieces he doesn't like do finding those um what I say to that, though, is when you get a definite signal, just dig that. Don't dig these ones that just go, and then you get iron. I like to dig everything off the beach and get it clean. Uh, 
but that's what you do with that. He does, he digs everything too. What else do we got? Oh, okay. We got two fishing weights. Good size ones too. And we got an earring. It's one of these kind of earrings. We got a butterfly. Butterfly. And we got a bracelet. Just, you know, junk. <laughs> we got this. This actually is in good condition still. It's got a nice uh, thing for the chain. 21. It looks like a baseball, kind of. I don't know what it is. Probably stainless steel. Really nice. Uh, we got this. I did test it because there's no, it's too small to have writing on it. I don't think it's gold. I really don't. It kind of rang up like gold, and then it didn't ring up at all. That was kind of weird, too. Um, we got this one, which I was feeling it, thinking it was real heavy. And turns out it is just... I mean, it's silver. It is silver. It says 925. It actually says PB925. Letter P, letter B, then 925. So I was really hoping for platinum or mixture. Because I found platinum and gold mixture before on a recovery, though. It wasn't, wasn't one I could keep. It was one I found for somebody on the beach. Anyways, that's our hunt. So we'll probably go back down to that beach. I'm pretty much done with that beach. Uh, there's one more little area. Well, actually, it's a pretty big area. We still can get another good hunt out of it. But I think s sections of that beach have been hit already by other metal detectors. Because you go to sections and there's just nothing. Big sections. And then you go to one little section and there's all kinds of targets. I mean, not all kinds. There's like, you know, maybe five targets. And then you move to another area and nothing. Another area, little targets again. So it's like somebody hit it, but they didn't hit every spot. Um, but who knows? It just might be the way the tides are flowing and metals getting placed around. You just never know. It's all just, you know, crazy down there. <laughs> There's our pumpkin. Pumpkin update. <laughs> Gotta do it. Halloween's coming. Green pumpkin. You know what? Uh, I kind of like it green. Just have a green one and an orange one. Put them side by side. I think that'd be pretty cool. But I'm thinking if I pick that right now, it's probably going to turn orange anyways. In fact, I'm sure it will. Look at our pineapples looking really good. Real big. There's one in here with the strawberries. It's poking through. So maybe next year we'll have a pineapple. Who knows? If it makes it through the winter. Sometimes our winters get kind of cold. We're in desert type area, high desert. I don't know where we're at actually. We're in California. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is a long video. I can't sit here and blabber on, but for you guys that uh, like the wrap up, this is it. Here another angle of the tumbled rocks oh the tumbled rocks i really want to go back to this area where i got these there's just one area in the desert and i really want some more of this i had to actually hit hit it off of a bigger rock i might even redo this one get it because it's a good one get it down to like that all over you know so I'll see you guys in the next one.